Hi. In this session, we are going to discuss topics like what is debugging, what are breakpoints, how to set breakpoints, how to start and stop the debugger, use of resume, debug perspective, which includes discussion on variables view and breakpoints view, evaluating variables in the debugger. Now, to start with, what is debugging? Debugging is a methodical process of finding and fixing the bugs in a software. Specifically, Eclipse debugging is a process that allows us to run a program interactively while watching the source code and the variables during the execution. Now, what is breakpoint? A breakpoint is a pausing place in a program put in place for debugging purposes. When the program is run in debug mode, its execution is paused or suspended at a particular location based on the breakpoints created. Now these definitions would become more clear when we start with practical examples. Now, as the remaining topics like how to set breakpoints, how to start and stop the debugger, use of resume, a debug perspective, evaluating variables in the debugger, these are more uh, example based. Let's go to Eclipse and explain them one by one. Now, in Eclipse, we have a sample project called debugging tutorial. Let's go inside source and open a very simple program called debug hello world.java. As we can see here, debug hello world.java has a main method. Inside main methods, there are uh, five lines of code. Initially at line number five, an integer variable i is declared and assigned a value of 10. In the next line, line number six, i is incremented by 100. In line number seven, the value of i is printed. In line number eight, the value of i is decremented by 20. And at line number nine, again, the value of i is printed. So it's a pretty simple program where one particular variable i is declared, its value is incremented, it is printed, then its value is decremented, again its value is printed. Now, we need to understand how to set breakpoints. Now, setting a breakpoint is pretty simple. Say I want to set a breakpoint at line number 6. What I need to do? I need to go to this margin here and double click on the margin. As you can see over here at line number 6, on this margin, a circle appears, blue colored circle appears, and if I hover on top of it, it shows a line breakpoint, colon debug hello world, line colon six, main string array, which means a breakpoint is placed inside debug hello world at line number six inside main method. Now, if I want to remove this particular breakpoint, it's a pretty simple. I can double click on top of this breakpoint and it would go away. So let me double click now. It is gone. So let me place the breakpoint once again here. Uh, double click. It has come. Now let me place another two breakpoints, say at line number eight and nine. Now, another way to place a breakpoint is you can go to this margin, right click, select toggle breakpoint. See the breakpoint has appeared here as well. Similarly, we can remove this breakpoint as well. Right click on top of this breakpoint, toggle breakpoint. So the breakpoint is gone. Anyways, so let me put two breakpoints here at line number eight and line number nine. So we have seen how to place breakpoints. Now, what is the significance of these breakpoints? Now, 
if this program is run in debug mode, the program would pause at the spread points, which means if the program debug hello world is run now in debug mode, first the flow would pause at line number six, means line number five would be executed and the flow would pause at line number six. And accordingly, later on, the flow would pause at line number eight and line number nine, which means the next two breakpoints. So let's run the program in debug mode. Now to run this program in debug mode, what we need to do, we need to select the program debug hello world Java, right click, go to debug as Java application. Another way would be you can directly select the program from the editor here. Do a right click, debug as Java application. Now, once we run this particular program in debug mode, what happens? Eclipse asks to us for a confirmation of perspective switch, which means currently the program is in Java perspective. When we are running this program in debug mode, the perspective would switch to debug perspective. So Eclipse is asking for a confirmation from our end. So we would click yes and before that, here we would check this checkbox to remember my decision. So that whenever later on we are running a particular code in debug mode, the perspective automatically switches from Java perspective to debug perspective. So let me select remember my decision and click on yes. Now, as you can see over here, the perspective has been switched from Java to debug. And in debug perspective, we can see some other views as well. Let me first focus at this section. Here, line number six is highlighted in green, which means our first debug point placed at uh, our first debug breakpoint, I would say rather, uh, placed at line number six, it is hit and the control is paused at this line, which means line number five has been executed and the program is halted at the first breakpoint. If we have a look at the top right in debug perspective, there are two views. One is variables view, another is breakpoints view. Now in variables view, we can clearly see there are certain variable names are provided and their values are shown here. Args is there, which is a string array and I is here, which has a value of 10. Now args is the string array passed to the main method. If you select args, it's a blank string array. And if you select I, its value is 10. Now why its value is 10? As we can see over here, line number five already got executed and I is assigned as 10, so its value is 10. Fair enough. Let's go to the breakpoints view here. Breakpoints view shows us three breakpoints, line number six, eight, nine. So simply speaking, what breakpoint view does, it shows all the breakpoints together here. And we would see many more features of this particular view in later videos. But for the timing, let's uh, explore other sections. Now, what we have done so far, we have run a particular program in debug mode and we have placed three breakpoints. Now the program is paused at first breakpoint. If we want to proceed from here, what we need to do? We need to instruct Eclipse to go ahead. Now, how to do that? At the top, we have one button, which is resume, and its shortcut key is F8. If we press resume or F8, what would happen? The flow would resume and the flow would pause at the next breakpoint, if there is any. For example, if I press resume over here, the program would start executing means line number six, seven would be executed. And as line number eight is the next breakpoint, the program would pause at this breakpoint that is at line number eight. Now, after that, 
If again the resume button is pressed, it would stop or pause at the next breakpoint, that is line number 9. So let's click resume here and see whether it behaves accordingly or not. Let me click resume. As we can see over here, the control is paused at line number 8, that is the second breakpoint. And in the meantime, the two lines, line number 6 and line number 7, got executed. So I is incremented by 100. I was 10, 10 plus 100, 110. So value of I should be 110. We can see over here in the variables view, I's value is 110. And the second line got executed. So the value of I colon 110 should be shown in the console. If we have a look at the console, yes, the value of I colon 110 is shown here. Now, if I press resume once again, it would pause at the next breakpoint, which means it would pause at line number nine. Let me uh, press resume once again. Okay, this line has executed. So I's value was 110, 110 minus 20, it should be 90 now. If I have a look at the variable section, yes, the value has changed to 90. And the last breakpoint here, the control is paused. If I press resume, this line would get executed and the value of I should be displayed. Fine. The value of I is printed over here. That is 90. So we have seen the functionality of the resume button. Now we need to check how the terminate button works. So let me run the program in debug mode once again. Uh, first clear the console and run it in debug mode. Another way of running a particular program in debug mode is that once uh, you have run the program in debug mode, if you click here uh, beside the debug icon, the program name would be shown like here uh, debug hello world is shown and if you click on it the program would run in debug mode so that is one shortcut uh, now here to show you the functionality of uh, this terminate button which has a shortcut key of control plus f2 if i click uh, terminate here the program would simply terminate here, which means it won't execute any further. The next lines won't be executed. It would terminate here. So that's it. So let me click terminate. And the program ends here. So resume and terminate. These are basic two buttons which we can use during debugging. In the next session, we would discuss in details about step into step over and step return so for the timing what we have learned so far we have learned what is debugging uh, what is breakpoints i mean what are breakpoints how to place breakpoints in a program how to run a program in debug mode now once you run a particular program in debug mode uh, what is the debug perspective how variables view and breakpoints view helps us and once the program is running in debug mode, how we can use the resume button to go ahead or how we can use the terminate button to terminate a particular debug session. So that's all for now. We will meet in later sessions with more important topics related to Eclipse debugging. Thank you.